Hey everybody, uh, this is the second part. Uh, it was just too big of a lesson, so this is the second part of Module 12.1. Uh, we're creating uh, linear systems uh, given graphs on this lesson here. So we, st we ended in section uh, C, so this begins with section D. I just I had to split it into two. So here we go. We're going to use the graph to make a linear model and describe the meaning of the terms in the models, then create a linear system and state what the solution represents. Okay, so here they give us a graph right there and we're supposed to unravel everything about this graph. Well, I can get slope no problem uh, with uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and I can do it for the red line also with these two points right there. No problem getting slope here. Here it is time bowled in hours. So this is how much time that we're bowling in hours and over here this is the cost right here. Alright, so let's get an equation of these two lines and describe what it means right here. Okay, so for the for the blue line right here uh, the the y-intercept right here is at 4 so b equals 4 so that means the initial cost right here because this is cost right there is four bucks right there alright well let's get slope slope is always our rate of change so it means per so our slope between 412 and 04 is 2 so y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 well slope is rate of change which always means per something so so it's going to be cost so the the dollars per per hours bold so it's going to be two dollars per hours bold so remember y equals mx plus b so in this case y equals 2x plus 4 okay let's do that for this one right here so the initial cost of this one is two so uh, so it's going to be two bucks right there and the slope between 412 and 02 is 2.5. So they're going to charge 250 per hour on that one. So y equals mx plus b. Okay, so the system of equations is given above right there. And so the solution right here where they intersect 412, that represents the same charge of 12 bucks. So it's 12 bucks right there after four hours of bowling. Remember, four is the first one that's our X right here so that's how much we bold right here and then the second one is always our Y coordinate so the Y coordinate is the cost right there so after four hours of bowling it's charging 12 bucks alright let's try that with another one right here okay so we're given two equations right there let's go ahead and do the same thing so there's our initial uh, uh, our y-intercepts, our y-intercepts are at 8 and 1, so again this is the initial cost because that's what this says over here, cost right here. Okay, and then down here is trail mix in pounds right here. Alright, let's find the slopes again of both those lines right there. So there's the slopes and so that means how much it costs per pound. Remember, slope is per. So it's going to be one dollar a pound. This one's two dollars a pound right there, okay? And then so um, uh, y equals mx plus b, there you go. And then um, uh, so the system of equations can be found right there. And that solution 715, it represents uh, the same charge of 15 bucks for seven pounds of trail mix. All right. And if you guys are in my class, I would assign that for your homework.